Hi, I'm going to show how to set up a tour that will play a video. Well, the first thing to do is I need to make a new tour. So I'm going to go in here, I want to make it call Test Video. And then my tour name, I'm going to call it Test Video. Create Tour. All right, now I'm in a blank tour. Let me import in some of my, open this up. Then I want to import in some of my background images. Import this one too and then import in this special background and then import in this video file. So I want to now import all of my media. Import, let it go. All right, so that's done at the moment. So now I can go back to my tour. All right, I have a blank tour at the moment, so I'm gonna go add all the rooms using the fire icon. Now I'm gonna click on my first room, go into points. So I link my first room and my second room. So I go here and use the link room button. Choose my other room. All right, and now I have a link to my other room. So double tap over here in my second room. And then there's my link back. So I can click here, now I'm back in the first room, go back again. All right, now my plan is I want to have a button over this sign. And then when you look at the button, it will play the video in a special room. So what I want to do first is I want to now create a one-way link to another room button. Link to this room. Now I don't like where this is currently at, so I'm going to use my keyboard and mouse, or I can use the uh, buttons, but since I'm just doing some fine grain changes, I'll just change it here. And just make it so it's right over this uh, sign. Okay, now I'll click on the edit button. Now I want to make sure that this is the I. Alright, don't worry about anything else other than I want to change recenter into apply. Now when you do a video or you do a navigate as apply, then it will mean use your current view orientation as the center for the next room. Or when you say this when you want to play a video, the video will now play at that orientation. Otherwise, it'll always play at the zero orientation. All right, hit close. I'm going to save before I mess up anything. Everything should be saved now. Now I'm going to go into this room here. So just double tap. I'm in this room where nothing is. So let me go into presets for a second because I need to do something very important. Create a new preset. I'm going to call this one plane because it'll just be a flat plane. Edit it. Uh, it's going to be a plane. It's going to be 2D, uh, adaptive standard, IPD standard. Flip. Don't worry about that. Filter. Don't worry about that. These are special cases. Maybe the width and height, maybe instead of 50, make it 40, just so it's not so huge. All right. Now go back into points. I'm in this, this room still. I want to firstly create a new. Okay, there was. I didn't have the uh, room selected. All right, so I want to create a new blank point. Now what I want to do is I want to go in here and edit it. And this will just be called video. This is not a rotation or a point. This should be action script. Now actions or scripts will autoplay, which makes them very handy if you want to chain a bunch of operations together. Like look at a button, play a video, and then after the video plays, I could go to the next room. So don't worry about icon. Now the operation is going to be play. Play with the plane preset. Play what? Play spinning. All right, and then recenter. Don't worry about that since everything in this room is going to be zeroed or in the default orientation. Now hit close. All right, now I'm going to hit a new point. I actually want to use the room one. Choose this room. So now I'm going to make a point back to go view the other room. So go in here and now uh, move this thing down a bit. Click here. All right, so now when I click on this video here or this point, it shows here's where the video screen can be, which is pretty nice. But this seems a little bit too excessive. I'll go back into presets. Now I want to edit this preset. I want to change the max adaptive height to 
0 0.7. Back over here. And now if you notice, the screen has actually gotten a little bit smaller. It's still actually the same height, but it's just being cropped. And then the system knows how to handle that. Move this button down one more. All right, so now I got, there's my screen. Here's my button, maybe move it up again. All right, so those two things are there now. Now this button, let's edit it. And then it's flow, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Navigate, let's just say back. Take me back, please. All right. And the dot will be a stop. All right. Now we go back into rooms again. And now I have my basic tour set up so I can start in my first room, go to my second room. And then from the second room, I can click on this point, which will then take me here where it will play a video of my choosing. And then once the video is done, it will then flow next, as it says here, to the next thing, which will now be the back button. Then it will automatically take you back to the previous room, and then you'll still be facing this way, so you don't have to turn your head at all once you're looking at the icon. And then if there's more things to do, you can then turn your head, go somewhere else. All sort of other things, you could have had multiple buttons in that room to then control better, like if you want to go to the next clip, previous clips, if you had a whole series of clips. All right, so then just, I need to save. Now I'll go back to my dashboard. And now what I want to do is go back to my a available list, and then here is my tour I just made. So what I want to do is now I want to click on this little zip button over here. And then if I go to the folder I've listed in their settings, like here is my tours folder. If I go there, I can then find a zip file of the same name, which I can then deploy to a iOS device using mobile VR station, extract it, and then view the tour on your iOS device. All right, now it's time to show off what the application on the iPhone sees when you load in the tour. So first off, you know, here's the first room that I added. So I'm going to tap to go to my second room. Then there's the link back. Then over here, here is the link to go to the next room. Tap on it. Now I'm in my specially set up room. It's playing the uh, film. And then I can either wait or go and hit the back button. But in the end, it just drops me back. To where I was. I'm still facing the same direction, so nothing really changes there, so I don't have to worry about reshifting my view. There was uh, one more thing I could have done. I could have went through, through the app and added in the uh, exit buttons, which I forgot to do, but it's just one button click away to add in the buttons on the floor to automatically exit the tour or exit VR. Really, it's up to you if you want them just to quit out of VR, which if it's a tour and you are um, going to use the internet option, it's probably best just to exit VR, not drop them back into the VR menu. Since they may not know what to do. Thanks.